Welcome in to High School Spotlight. I'm Erin Hardigan. Thrilled to be back with you because you and I both know there are so many amazing personalities performing on the fields and in the gyms during the high school sports season. Student athletes whose talents can truly mesmerize. And when those talents extend onto the theater stages, well, that's where these personalities really get into character, so to speak. Let's go behind the curtain of the 6A one-act play competition and watch as these student thespians pour into their passion for acting. Okay, are we all right there? Okay, deep breath, big release. You're walking out like you own the place, yes? Yay! Oh, I don't know why we even bother rehearsing. Love them! Yay! All right, let's run it. Part of the challenge of all directors across the state is to cut a, what could be an hour and a half to two, to two and a half hour story into a 39 minute, uh, beginning, middle, and end, and that's very difficult. First, you have to figure out what story you want to tell, whose story you want to tell, and finding the, the intimate moments that tell that story. You might lose your lines, you might lose some time on stage, but it's worth it if we're going to get it all under 40 minutes and perform a Broadway professional show. You still have to stick to the author's intent of the story, uh, but the great thing about One Act Play is that you can kind of cut it around to what exact story you want to tell, because there's a lot of storylines, especially in this play. Yeah, it is a struggle to get all that story into 40 minutes, and so we went through a lot of cuts. You have to prioritize, you have to figure out what's important to the character, to the story. It's, it's a great experience. How can you tell a complete story that normally took three hours and 40? And so it's a lot of refining and a lot of um, really working it as a company and as us directors. I would say, you know, our show has been a different, a different take every round. You know, we go home, we refresh, we change things, we, we make it better and better. You get attached to certain scenes and you really want to keep them because it has a lot of meaning, but it doesn't really drive the story or the journey or the, uh, you know, heart of the play. So you have to kind of find the scenes and the, and the specific lines that really drive the meaning of the play. If something doesn't feel right, or if a character, or if a, a cast member just has an opinion, it's always so open for everyone to be able to contribute. As a person, in, in a play, in any anywhere in life, you need to be constantly changing, constantly getting better. Because if you're not improving and staying stagnant, you know, no one likes that. Being a theater student, we are teaching them to have empathy, you know, uh, toward people who are different from them. When they step into those characters' shoes, they're literally able to see the world through different eyes. Being able to understand how somebody else feels about something or what they might be going through, you know, like, as compared to what I'm going through. Think about their backgrounds, where they came from, um, what their goal is in the show, um, how they play a part in the show, and then how they're going to impact the show. Most of the time I'll know the people that are in the shows, so to see the contrast between their actual self and who they portray on stage is way, it's the coolest part about theater in my opinion. The actors are, are emotionally exhausted when it's through, if they've, if they've done their job, if they've put it all on the line, if they have fought their fight with everything they can. I love you both. I think with sports, you're directly comparing everyone. With theater, it's harder to directly compare a period piece with a modern piece with a piece about, a piece with a dog in it. Like, there's so many variables that aren't accounted for in a race or in seeing your competitors and wanting and knowing that you have to beat them to be the best. Sports is not always about the championship game, which is essentially what we're at right now. It's about the moments that each athlete takes in their daily work, in their practice, in their dedication, in their commitment to their teammates. It's not like a football game or a race where there's, you know, somebody crosses the line first. Everyone comes here and just tells their story. We're not wanting to beat everyone, we want to give our best show. And if that is a state championship show, this is the then we're content. Team. But we are content no matter what we do because we were so happy with our performance. We are going to be uh, happy with any results that we get. Of course, everyone wants Guys, to win state, uh, but we trust our judges to make the best uh, decision. If I'm going to do something, I, I want to be the best at it, so 
Um, making it to state was my goal from day one, and it was I was beyond thrilled whenever uh, they called our name at Region, and it's, it's I've had the time of my life being here. Our goal is to share our story and really make sure we have best performances and really make impact on not only ourselves but our audience. But state is a nice bonus. It's a nice like, hey, we we actually did make it. It's like, wow, awesome, we're being rewarded for something we know is good. The only thing we have control of is our story and sharing it with our audience. And that's, that was our goal. Was there a time where they laughed, where they cried, where they shocked? But overall, did they feel something? And the only way that they feel something is if it's honest. If you don't have vulnerability on stage, then your performance isn't believable. This is part of my life. This is part of my story. I'm part of their story. I really want the audience to follow us on this journey and to carry on with us even after the 40 minutes. Our Baylor Scott and White game diagnosis looks at this week's UIL winners and theatrical design division one. So much talent on display as they handed out hardware in set design to Chloe Webb. In costume design, it was Mariana Martinez, while the hair and makeup award went to Piper Stevenson. These dazzling designers all ready to flourish on the big stages as they chase their theatrical dreams. Get out, get to the box office, and catch some amazing performances while you can.